this is exciting to me, the existence of the indie Cade, uh, independent game designers. Uh, it's, it's more of a pavilion than a booth, which is also great here at E3, at a conference that has always been dominated by EA and Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo and huge, huge, huge companies. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It's great for gaming and it's great for creative people that we have an entire area here dedicated to designing and selling and playing independently produced games. Would you just talk a little bit about uh, how you came to be here and what you're doing? Yeah, so um, we're IndieCade and we're actually a yearly festival that happens every October here in Culver City in California. Our whole mission is about collecting and highlighting the most innovative, sort of inventive, new, clever, self-expressive games that we see being developed out there by all of sort of the independents, the people who aren't working with big publishers who don't have a lot of money, who are doing this sort of out of the passion of their hearts because they have to say something this way or they there's nothing else they can do except make games, you know? Um, and we look every year at all of those games or as many of them as we can get our hands on. We pick a selection of what we think is the best with sort of a preview of what we think will probably be coming down the pipe in October at the festival. When we started doing this, if you were an independent developer, you worked really hard, you made a great independent game, that independent game might show at the IGF or one or two other small places where you might get someone who would give you a job at a giant studio, not making a game all on your own, but like coding the weapon damage for a specific class of weapons in a giant AAA title. Um, but because independent games have been growing at such a rate, and because we have digital distribution, um, because of the growth of Steam, because of iOS and Android and this stuff, there's now tons of ways for these games to get out here. And what that means more than anything else is with more exposure and with a really low barrier to entry at that first level, um, we're making more and more opportunities for people to make something small, something that is just barely within the capacities of what they can do sort of on their own with no support and have that really as an exemplar that leads them out into the industry where then a company like Nintendo or Sony or Microsoft or Valve even can notice and say oh my god you guys are doing something really cool and we want to support it we want to give you an opportunity to take this to a larger audience to take this to our audience